Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Um, I look back at uh, a live stream that I did a while ago where I was asking uh, folks what they, uh, what kind of videos they wanted me to make, um, and I took up a couple of suggestions. I did the um, my five favorite Kiss riffs for one. That was a a suggestion from someone that was really cool. And one of the other suggestions was to do like a guitar lesson. Um, now there's a million guitar lessons out there by, you know, exceptional players, um, much better instructors than myself. Uh, again, I'm just a guitar hack. Um, but I thought, you know, what what kind of what would I like to to find? Like, what would help me as a player? And you know, I'm a big solo guy, like a lead player. And for me, it's all about you know being able to solo and. And learning, you know, how to solo, and um, you know what, what to play over progressions. So I thought, you know, why not make a video and just call it, "What can I play over this?" So I'm going to start off with a real simple lesson, and hopefully it'll help some of you out there. Um, and I'm going to start real basic. The only thing that you need to know um, uh, to start off is, you know, basically how to play some chords. Um, and if you know the pentatonic shapes. So I'm going to start with, for now, for this one anyways, if you know the, um, and I'll show it to you in a second, the sort of the main pentatonic shape, uh, the primary shape, the box, if you will, or, you know, uh, position one, or I, I, whatever they call it. But I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, and how to kind of apply that to a progression. Okay, the progression that I'm going to be playing is uh, what we call a 1-4-5, and it's in the key of A. So, um, I don't want to get too heavy into the theory of this, but basically in any key, the 1st, the 4th, and the 5th chord are major chords. The 2nd, the 3rd, and the 6th chords are minor chords, and then there's the 7th chord, which is the diminished, which I'm not going to go there. Um, because it's not it's not often used in uh, in regular progressions. It's sort of an oddball. So, anyways, again, I'm not going to get into the, the theory of the heavy theory, but, um, but just so that you know, the one, four, and five chord in any key uh, is going to be uh, the major chords. So, if we're talking about the key of A, the first chord is the A major, of course, that's the tonic. Uh, the fourth chord is going to be D major, and the fifth chord is going to be an E major. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of ideas as to what I can play over a 1-4-5 major progression, okay, using that one shape. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so the shapes that I'm talking about, if you can see the guitar neck here, okay, um, uh, you, this is the third fret. Okay, this is the fifth fret, just to sort of give you a bit of an orientation. So the shape that I'm talking about is the one that looks like this. Okay, now you can see the the neck, uh, the nuts. You can see where I'm at. So um, the 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 shape that I'm gonna go th that I'm talking about is the the sort of the main pentatonic shape, which looks like this. So it's gonna be one four, then one three, one three, one three. 1 4 and 1 4. Okay, now my first note is the second note, just to give you an idea where I'm at, is the second note on the E string, which is uh, an F sharp. So starting at F sharp, if we go 1 4, 1 3, 1 3, 1 3, 1 4, 1 4. Okay, so <clears throat> if I play that shape um, in that position, that is actually I'm playing a portion of the A major scale and what pentatonic means is I'm basically picking penta means five I'm picking five notes of the A major scale um, that's what that shape basically does for you is it takes out five of those notes um, I'm not going to get into which notes it eliminates at the moment but but we all know this shape right one, four one three one three one one three one four one four. So, um, the other thing that's kind of good to know is where your root notes are. Now, the root notes are going to be the notes um, that um, 
are basically the A notes, okay, uh, which are the notes of the, the, the first chord or the key that I'm in, which is when, again, I'm playing in the key of A. So there's an A note there, which is fifth fret on the high E string. There's an A note there, which is the second fret on the G string. And there's an A note there, which is the fifth fret of the low E string. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, because I'm playing an A major progression, okay, in A major, I can play the A major scale, okay, and again, these are five notes from that A major scale. So I'm going to play a little backing track here, which is just going to go through those, uh, the A major, D major, and E major, and see if I can, I'll play through the, the, the scale straight, and you can see that every note that I play is going to work with every chord in the progression because these notes all come are, come from the same uh, all these notes are in those chords that are going to be uh, that you're going to hear okay because they're all built from these notes so I'm going to start the progression right now and I'm going to play through and you're going to hear that every note that I play is going to work perfectly so here we go <laughs> So every note I played worked, okay? Because again, these notes are the same notes that are shared with those chords. They all come from the key of A, or A major scale, okay? So um, now you're going to say, well, wait a minute. I thought the shape was up here on the fifth fret. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but looking at just this shape here in this position, I'm using all A major notes, okay? Um, so my root note, my first, I know I'm playing the F sharp here, um, but the first note really is that note there, which is the A note. But F sharp is in that, is part of that key as well, okay? So I'm not starting on the root, I'm starting on F sharp, but all of these notes belong to the A major scale. So, so I wanna put that progression on again, and I'm gonna play along, and you know, that to make it sound interesting, I'm going to do, you know, some bends, some slides and things like that. But keep in mind that every note that I'm playing is, again, every note I'm playing is from the A major scale. Okay, so again, it's your pentatonic shape starting on F sharp. So let me go through that again. And I'll try to play something that sounds decent over that. So every note worked. I did some bending there. I did little, you know, a, a few little, you know, let's call them, uh, you know, accoutrements, if you will. But it's a few little things to sort of make it sound a little interesting. Now, if you notice the sound of that, it sounded pretty major sounding. Okay. It sounded very major. Um, and of course it would because I'm playing strictly uh, notes from the major scale. Now, 
one four five. Let me just turn this up here. One four five um, is is a, a very common uh, progression used in blues. Um, and what makes blues really interesting and cool sounding, and what kind of give it gives it its flavor, is the fact that you are playing uh, a minor uh, pentatonic scale over top of a major progression. So that's again a major progression. It's the first, the fourth, and the fifth chord, which are all major chords. So that's sort of what gives the blues its flavor. It's that rub, if you will, between a minor scale against a major chord. Okay, now everybody knows, I'm going to tilt this down again, okay, everybody knows the, this, the same pentatonic shape but played on the fifth fret, which is ex exactly the same shape. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Okay, everybody knows that shape. But playing it in this position, there's my root note A. Okay, here's my A's, okay, in case you wanted to know. There's my A on the low E. There's my seventh fret of the D string, which is A again. And there's my A up there on the high E string on the fifth fret. So these are my A's again. Now, what makes a chord major or minor is the third. And this pentatonic shape is not major notes. Th this pentatonic shape comes from an, a natural A minor scale. Okay, now again, I don't want to get heavy into the theory. But if you look at the shape, the difference between the sounds of this and the difference between the sounds of the one the first one that we did is that basically here in this shape uh, in this shape in this position okay the first one I showed you is I'm playing a major third here okay in this position I'm playing a minor third so you have a minor uh, third played against a major chord okay so this is the chord here's the A major chord but if you listen to the if you listen to the pentatonic notes, see if you can hear the difference. So here's the major. Now listen to the pentatonic notes. You hear that they're kind of, they don't match up quite exactly. Okay. Now, normally, musically, that wouldn't work. But for blues, it does work. And that's actually what gives the blues its flavor. So now I'm going to play using strictly this shape over that same progression and now it'll sound a little more uh, how would I put it a little more rock a little more bluesy sounding okay I'm gonna start to track again here we go different sound and it's the sound of the blues okay so if you want to sort of have a little bit of a major sound okay you're gonna play you can play that same shape on F sharp starting on F sharp if you want to play that and make it sound bluesy then you want to start that same shape on the fifth fret okay so to answer the question what can I play over this? Well, you can play. The easiest answer, I mean, there's a lot of things you can play, but we're just starting with the basics. The answer is, okay, you can play a major sounding, 
you can play minor sounding okay with this particular progression because it is a one four five which is more of a bluesy progression so it gives you the op the option to play both the major sounding and the minor sounding okay now um, using just those single shapes now this can obviously grow into um, you know a lot of different possibilities one immediately popping into mind is why don't I combine the major and the minor together since they both work well there's another option okay there's another option there okay okay a third option would be instead of playing the pentatonic scales why don't I play the full scales okay now there you gotta be a little bit uh, a little bit careful because you will have conflicting notes another option would be to play those scales but to play some of the in between in between notes some chromatic stuff or what they or sometimes I'll call them blue notes okay there's another option there so there's a million options okay but for a starting point okay for a starting point if you're practicing and you're just starting to learn how to solo okay if you've got a one four five that's all major chords okay anything major because a one four five will always be major you can play f sharp okay starting on f sharp or you can play on a now what's really really cool is that works for any one four five in any key okay so what that means is um if you and i'll show you this real quick okay if you want to change keys is for example if i was playing in a c apply that to the c for example where i have a c major and then i play the four chord which is the f and the five chord which is the g and if I apply that same idea where I play that same pentatonic shape, okay, but I start and I put my pinky on the C, then I would have this. Okay, and you can play the A as well because we want to play that note too. It's part of it, right? But I'm just showing you that to do the major sounding one, your pinky is always going to be on the root and then you build up your your pentatonic shape from that so again it would be right same shape as we did earlier we just slid it up so that my pinky is on the eighth so if i do the same thing and if i play if i play the pentatonic down here i'm gonna have something major sounding if i start it with my first finger here on the actual c and I play the minor pentatonic you can hear the difference right away okay so that's the one beautiful thing about the guitar is if you learn it in one key it'll apply to all the keys okay because it's a formula that just keeps repeating itself okay so what can I play over this progression? Well, there's two options right there. All right. Let me know if you if you like this lesson. Uh, maybe if it's too much information, not enough information. I know everybody's at a different point in their learning, but if you're just this is I guess if you're just starting a solo or just you know um, a beginning soloist and just want to be able to play uh, over over some uh, progressions. Um, that's sort of what this is geared for but you know let me let, give me some feedback let me know what you thought of this if it helped you out at all um, and I can just you know build from this because as I mentioned earlier there's a million things that you can do on top of this okay this is just a starting point okay if you know all your pentatonic shapes and all you know all over the neck then if you start at the points that I mentioned and then you can move up and down as well that's another thing that you can do I'm just showing you that one shape but of course the pentatonic shapes carry down carry along all down the neck okay so let me know please give me some feedback on that uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you know 
uh, I hope that's a, a good starting point for you to learning how to solo. So cheers from the Guitar Hack. I hope everybody has a great day. Take care.